Can you cite some examples that would help our audience? We look in the world of precision testing. Cambridge University recently, very recently announced a prostate cancer biomarker test. And it's really interesting because it's a biomarker test that they cited as not being invasive. And one of the things they highlighted when they talked about that biomarker test for prostate cancer, they said they specifically cited was a 96 and 99 percent accuracy. And more importantly, it didn't require an MRI. So if you are a prostate cancer, you're being tested for prostate cancer, you would traditionally need to go for an MRI. So if you know what an MRI is, it's a huge machine, very expensive to run, fully booked in most hospitals. And one of the reasons why it's fully booked is because a lot of patients don't lie still in MRI machines. So there's a lot of downtime, a lot of wastage. So that prostate cancer biomarker test from University of Cambridge is just a great example. Another Another example I can think of is precision treatment. So that was first one was precision testing, precision treatment. Uh, there's a great company that does sound wave blasting called IVL for clogged arteries. So what it does is basically instead of an angio and invasive treatment, they basically target your clogged arteries and sound blast the calcification in it. The calcification is, I think, as thick as an eggshell. So what that does is actually it's cited that that is so accurate and so effective and it causes less risk and less damage and it's an easier procedure for the entire cardiovascular surgical crew that it actually is so much better so you can imagine that if you're a patient your hospital uh, is much more effective it's less risky there's less complications you get discharged faster you have a lesser bill so that's really great uh, let's look at another example vaccines in the world of vaccines everyone knows a vaccine is there to prevent preventive prevention is way better than trying to treat a condition when you get it so i think if vaccines are just a great Great example. The last one is we call GLP-1. GLP-1s, you know, you could see a lot of media hype around it. Big pharmaceutical companies are driving that just to curtail, manage down the obesity. And the reason why they want to manage down obesity and why it's insure, insurance covers it is because if you don't manage down the obesity, the cardiovascular, the diabetes, the heart, the blood pressure, the end-stage renal failure, the kidney dialysis that you need, that goes in into the hundreds of thousands of dollars for each patient over a five, 10 years. So all these are just examples of how innovative therapies are really helping drive the social economic benefit.